serious? They just look so damn ridiculously good. <laughs> I don't deserve this. G'day guys, welcome to Motorfields. I'm Rob Hamilton, so nice to have you with us today. So I've got, a, I've got a fresh new package here today and I'm sure you guys know what it is. It was only like a week ago when I said, ah, my hands are freezing, I need some bark busters. I swear I had white knuckles, I need some bark busters. Bang, the next day these guys hit me up. These absolute legends sent me out this to put on my bike. They were just like, man, you need some bark busters. I was just like, you are absolutely correct. I feel, I feel so, I feel like I'm a little boy. Yay. So these guys are local. They're from Wollongong, just south of Sydney. And they hit me up through Instagram. And I've, I've always wanted a set of bark busters, but I've just never, you know, I've just never just like sort of done it. So I'm so stoked that these guys hit me up because man, like these are, these are, these are the legit thing. These are the, the bark busters. Anyway, I'm keen. Let's open this stuff up and see what we're actually dealing with. Holy moly. So these are their hand guards. So there they are, big aluminium boys. So they're to, obviously they go around from the bar ends and they move around and they connect back up to the handlebar and they protect your levers just in case you stack it like I did here. And plus I think they look just dope. I think they look so sick. It just gives it, it just finishes off that real like sort of scrambly sort of style, you know? So that is awesome, holy crap. And then obviously, I've got the, they sent me out the carbon guards or the actual bark busters and they look ridiculously good. Let me get them out, I'll get them out of here. Whoa, I just, I love smelling, I love smelling new stuff. Look at that. Full on carbon fiber right there. That's to just sit behind and break all the wind so that your knuckles don't get smashed in winter while riding. And holy moly, this is so sick. I'm so happy. They feel, they feel ridiculously nice. Some screws and stuff in here. Let's clear all this. So we got some screws here, a bit of fitting instructions. Can't imagine it'd be hard. The only, the only thing I feel like might be an issue is now where I've mounted my indicators underneath the handlebars there. I'm hoping that these guys don't, don't block it. Hope not. I don't think so though, because I guess we'll find out, hey? And all right, let's see what's in this bad boy. Oh, look at that. That's all the, that's all the different styles they do as well. I'll link these guys in the description below so you can check them out, buy their stuff, hit them up, let them know that you're, um, that you're keen as to get some bark busters, get in amongst the bark buster action if you're in the business of protecting your hands from the elements and protecting your, your levers from the elements also. If you're just prone to dropping your bike all the time, this is what, this is what you need. Ooh. Alrighty, so. Big aluminium boys, light, sturdy. Good, quality is high, wow. Now that is one of the hand guards. So yeah, that should, that's gonna be sick. It's gonna look so ridiculously awesome. I cannot wait to go down and fit them. So then there are the, the brackets as well. Uh, I had in my head that you might have to pull off the, you know, all your hand grips and all that sort of stuff, but you do not. They are two separate brackets things you can see there. I guess we'll, um, we'll get to them very, very soon. They just pull apart, boom, clamp it back on, you're all good to go. And yeah, that's about, that is, that's it. That's, that's about it. I don't think there's this much, there's not much more to sort of, to tell you. It's pretty straightforward. I think we should go downstairs. Is that time to go downstairs? Have I said everything I need to say? I don't know, I feel like that just went really fast. That was really easy. Hey guys, Rob Hilton, welcome to Motorfields. So nice to have you here. I hope you're well, I hope your mum's well, I hope your family's well, I hope your kids are well, I hope your motorbike's well, and I hope you're well. I might have already said that. So I had a quick look, and so this is how it sort of looks that. That's how it's gonna sort of sit. Should be good. So I guess the only concern I have is of the, the Kellermans there, that they're not covered by the actual bark buses themselves. But I think I should be safe. I reckon I should be clear. And then obviously I have to remove, I might have to remove the quad lock. Let's get into this.
Okay, so I just got it connected up there. Pretty sick. I'm just gonna try, like, let's see, let's see, there, mount it up. Um, had to basically loosen everything off, the clutch, everything, have it all wobbly and everything like that, and just be able to, and then just manipulate it into place. But I'm wondering if I can try to flip this around so that this isn't sticking at the top and have it underneath the line there. So I'm gonna try to give that a crack, see if that works. Um, yeah, so let's try that out. Yeah, wow, that is so much better. So it frees everything up before everything was getting bumped around, the clutch cable and everything. So everything's just free, free to dangle, free to do its thing. And um, it looks really neat on that side. Looks fine. Look at that. What is that? Alright, now for the other side. Now I know what I'm doing. So basically, yeah, the tip, the hot tips would be to just keep everything loose. Loosen everything, loosen here, like loosen the clutch so that it's all nice and jiggly. Maneuver everything around, and this is how I did it. So, so you can see that part there, that's like the underside. It's actually quite simple. So you got like a nylon -like nut there, so everything's all nice and tight. I just put a bit of Loctite on this one, and it's so good that you don't have to put any, you don't have to cut the grips away or anything on the street scramblers. It's all just, you know, you just take that bolt out, take the little sleeve off. Which is this little bad boy? Let's pop him off. Use the exact same bolt, and yeah, you just screw it back in. Away you go. It bobs your arnie. That looks sick. That looks cool already. I'm going to eventually powder cut the bars. So then I'll pad okay, these as well. New levers. We've got the one of the bark buses here, this is the left side. I'm gonna chuck it on, they give you this little this little adhesive rubber foam boy. It sticks right there, it lines up with the hole nicely. And that's just to stop it from rattling and and carrying on so that it'll just go right there like that. Nice. We'll take it for a little test right after, but that looks awesome. Here she is. <laughs> so she's gonna be doing my B-roll for me. Literally never done B-roll in her life, and she's gonna she's gonna help me out with this slow-mo epicness while I do this side. She just had a little sneeze and just woke up, didn't she? Ah. Any Adidas? <laughs> How cool does it look? Do you like it? Bit of shine, just like it's tidy. It's good. Okay, she's ready. Look at that. Crash course in B-roll. <laughs> um, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. Alright, I'm gonna start on this side. It's gonna be sick. Done. Check it out. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Ramina. How did she do? Let us know in the comments. She did good, I reckon. I reckon she did good. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. How sick are these things, hey? Oh my goodness. It's like it's like the Batmobile bike. See now, see the headlight? Now for me, this isn't really doesn't work now. It's too round, you know what I mean? I need something a bit bit like I don't know. Johnny, I'm gonna be hitting you up again, bro. We'll come up with something sick. But yeah, these were like heat easy. So easy to install. Um, basic tools, just like literally a Phillips head and your Allen key set and your sweep. Just this guy, bit of adjusters here. This side was so much easier. And then like, yeah, it's so, it's so quick and easy. Let's go for a ride, shall we? I'm digging these bark busters. I was a little bit iffy about them at the start, just for the styling and everything like that. But they are protecting my hands very nicely. I'm sitting on about 80 Ks right now. It's a cold day. It's like, it was like six degrees when we woke up. It's 
probably be about like 12 now and I feel like my hands aren't copying too much of the wind they're really they're actually blocking all that wind off me which is the perfect time for me for winter riding I, I put up a poll on my Instagram just to see what the vibe is with people and how they feel with bark buses it was actually like a really nice it was a nice close tight tight match between yay and nay and I heard some people riding into me saying that bark busters are like horrible they, they're more dangerous than not having them which is pretty hectic a lot of other guys I feel like 70% of the people were saying that bark busters actually do help heaps they've dropped their bikes and it just protects the levers protects all their gear and like for me right now I'm digging it I like the vibe though I use it a mount that makes the bike look pretty aggressive really mean and I'm stoked I think I think they're here to stay and when I go trailing I'll take the, the actual blockers off themselves and just like and just have the, the old guard boys on there to protect the handlebars as much as possible I'm stoked I like them. Let me know what you think guys. Just drop a comment in the description. I'm keen to hear your thoughts. Alrighty guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you did, please drop a like, drop a subscribe. If you'd like to see this stuff on a weekly basis, how good are these corners? I'm loving this. I'm going to go and enjoy this guys. Peace legends. Take care. Ride safe. Yew!